Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, I'll show you how to solve the problem with code valid mountain array. So let's get started. So the problem is that they give us an array of integers and they ask us to return true if the array is a valid mountain array. And an array is a mountain array if and only if the length of the array is bigger than or equal to three. And also there should be some position in the array such that from the start to I, all the numbers are in an increasing order and all the numbers start at i index to the end must be in decreasing order and that's how the array will be a valid mountain so the task is to find if there is two sub array and one array the first sub array is an increasing sub array and the second one is a decreasing sub array so to solve this problem we're going to use the two pointers technique so let's take an example so that you can see how the two pointers gonna work let's say we have this input array so the first thing we need to do is to find where the array start to switch to decreasing order so we loop throughout the array and we use the variable i to find the array that start to decrease. So we start at zero and we check at each iteration if the current number at index i is bigger than the previous number. So here the loop gonna iterate until the number two because two is smaller than the previous number five. So after finding the index where the loop start to decrease, we're gonna loop another time by using the i index and at each iteration we check if the current number is smaller than the previous number. So after the loop finished, we return true if the i reach the end of the loop means it's equal to the length of the array. So there is a case when the index of the loop gonna keep increasing until the end and that's mean it's not a valid mountain or the array doesn't have an increasing sequence and only decreasing. So if those two cases are true, we return false because it's not a valid mountain array. So the time complexity for the solution is often because we are looping throughout the array from the start to the end and the space complexity complexity is of one since we are not allocating additional memory. That's it guys, so let's jump at coding the solution. First we initialize the pointer i, then we set a while loop while the i is less than the length of the array, and the number at index i is bigger than the number at the previous index, we increment the pointer i by 1. After we find the index that points at the number that start to decrease, we check if the pointer is equal to 1 means we have only decreased number or we have only increased number means i reached the end of the array, in this case we return false. After that we set another while loop to start at the current pointer i, well i is smaller than the length of the array and the current number at the position i is less than the previous number, we increase the pointer i by 1. Finally, we return true if the i reach the end of the array means i is not is equal to the length of the array. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.